Meet professional demonologists, Ed and Lorraine Warren. A poltergeist can be terrifying. So anybody says that a poltergeist is mischievous, they better take a second look. During their 50 years of hunting ghosts, Ed and Lorraine claim to have encountered hundreds of poltergeists. They've also been the subject of numerous books and have consulted on several high-profile cases, including the Amityville Horror. The poltergeist is nothing more than a devil or a demon as far as we're concerned. People say, this guy's going back into the medieval ages. There are no such things as devils or demons. Yes, there are. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. The Warrens feel that some of the most compelling evidence ever recorded has been videotaped by them in this Connecticut home. For months, the family, whose faces are obscured to protect their identity, have been tormented by what they fear is a poltergeist. Ed attempts to communicate with the troubled spirit. One knock for yes, two for no. Are you a man? Are you a boy? The mother leans against the kitchen table, her hands in full view as Ed continues asking questions. You want the people in this house to move? One knock for yes, two for no. Yes. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> Who is it that you don't like the most here? Is it Is it Is it their father? Is it their mother? Oh my god. Ooh. Okay. I command you to reveal your identity. Next, Ed decides to confront the poltergeist alone. Give me some sign. Is that you moving something? Give me some sign that you're here. What I did was use religious provocation. I have to provoke it into some type of outward manifestation. And that was my point in doing that. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to reveal your identity. On the following night, the family reports that the poltergeist seems to be more active than ever. Only now its attention is focused on the family's 10-year-old daughter. What we see here, the little girl is trying to do her homework, but you can see that the chair keeps sliding backwards. You're holding it down, aren't you? It's got that much strength to it. Now, if you watch, you can see the little girl's legs are up on the rungs of the chair. She's not pushing herself up from the floor. The mother is not tipping that chair backwards. No. Nobody is touching that table. The table moves of its own volition. Holy cow! The haunting continues. Later, as the daughter tries to sleep, an invisible force appears to be shoving her out of bed. The Warrens quickly arrange for three priests to perform an exorcism in the home, and the disturbance ends. But for how long? Could the angry poltergeist ever return? We have found that it can be quieted down, but then it'll escalate again. We still keep our fingers crossed because it could, and we hope and pray it don't.